Hello, this is Xilog and this is part 7 of this data mapping tutorial. Today we want to talk about biome volumes. So, to make your own biome volume, go here into modules and type in biome. Um, here is a biome zone volume, you can put it in here. And I make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so what did this biome volume do? Um, here are a lot of options you can have and um, at first you can set a biome zone name um, this is uh, the yeah the name that is uh, shown um, when you press uh, the H button and yeah so uh, if you have a mountain that you want to name can enter the name here. So, um, then uh, then here are some uh, temperature multipliers and additions. Um, yeah, those yeah they do what they what here is written. You can use this multiplier here to multiply the temperature or exponent them. Um, I mostly use uh, the temperature addition. So um, yeah, if I go into some areas that are colder, um, I do a minus addition and yeah, then it gets colder. Um, yeah, you need to know that um, this multiplier and exponent are bound to some options that are here. Um, the max multiplier is here set to 1.4. Um, if you want to use a bigger multiplier up here, you need to set this multiplier, this max multiplier higher. And if you want to use the exponent um, here, if you use 2, um, the exponent is yeah so high. Uh, its uh, normal temperature is uh, 25, and yeah, if you use the exponent two, you were at a temperature of 625 degrees. Yeah, and here is the absolute maximum temperature. It goes to 70. And yeah, if you don't set this higher, um, yeah, you can't use exponent uh, normal. So the rest are um, offset and above and below offsets. Um, yeah, you can play around with them to find out how they work. Um, mostly I only use addition. Um, I saw that they used uh, this on Scorched Earth. so. Yeah, try to find out. Um, this check is uh, to prevent crops that they grow. This is for uh, is outside. Uh, you can change it if you are in a cave. Um, here is some options for egg laying in this area. Uh, you can change these options to let uh, some types of dinos um, um, lay more eggs in this area. I uh, I have not found any use of this on the island. Um, yeah, but probably you can use this on your map and play around with this. Um, here is uh, the biome zone priority. Um, if you have two biomes, um, yeah, on the same place. Um, the one with the higher priority is used. Um, for 
yeah, for maps that use uh, the wind system from scorched earth, um, you should not uh, put them yeah over. So um, the wind system don't check the priority. So if you have uh, two biome zones zones that that overlap. Um, Sometimes it uses this wind multiplayer, sometimes the other. Um, it can't decide which one to use. So if you want to use this, the wind system, don't overlap them. So um, for the wind system, you use this final wind multiplier. Um, this is used uh, if you have the wind inside your Marite. Um, in Scorched Earth there's uh, one of the Marites where you can find the wind in and the change and it's working with this final wind multiplier so if you set it on uh, 0.2 or higher um, it works on some time yeah depending on the daytime so down here you have uh, the status adjustment rate for positive or negative adjustment um, you can here I'm here in the negative and uh, if you adjust the, the water here um, it's yeah it's like on scorched earth that uh, um, yeah, your character uh, lose his water faster and the same is here with positive uh, then he don't lose it so fast you need to activate this here and yeah if you activate this yeah wait we can do this on water here we use five we now need to adjust this maximum multiplier to 5. Um, I think this maximum multiplier is for every multiplier in the whole volume. So if you want to use this, yeah. Okay, so now go down and start. So, okay, now you see here the loose of water is yeah, very slow. And now I go in. You see the the zone name is popping up. And you see the loose of water is very fast now. So Yeah. Um, here, I hope this helped to set up your own biome volumes. And yeah, hear you next time.